Or he's got it, maybe. What's the matter with that thing? Hang on, Scoob! Oh. I'm beginning to suspect that our sea serpent is nothing but a lot of hot air. Well, I'll be a seasick sea serpent. <laughs> Wow. Well, well. So our ghosts are really Winslow and Selby. And they don't look too ghostly right now. <laughs> but that still leaves one ghost unaccounted for. The one with the lantern. Look. It's him, and he's getting away. Oh, no, he's not. Always keep one of these handy. <laughs> <laughs> Bullseye! Right on. Who is he? Name's Morgan. Been around here for a spell. Don't rightly know what he does. He invented that fake sea serpent, for one thing. And he made us go around in these ghost outfits, scaring people away. A remote control. I'll bet this is how he manipulated that serpent. And it was working fine till you gang of snoopers came around. But why? Why go to all this trouble to scare people away? Because Morgan found an old sunken treasure ship out there in the cove. He didn't want nobody else to get the gold in it. Shut up. It was probably the payroll for the British soldiers when they were here. <laughs> Gold? Sunken treasure? <laughs> Why, I've known about that for 30 years. It's a fake, a dummy, like your sea serpent. What, what do you mean, fake? I saw the gold. Years ago, a movie company made a motion picture here because of the extra clear water. It was called Sunken Treasure. And that ship is just part of an old movie set? That's right. As phony as the gold Morgan saw. <laughs> Why, they just left it there when the movie was finished. I guess now you're double glad you refuse to be scared off, eh, Uncle Nat? Shucks, it'd take a lot more than some phony ghost to scare the likes of us, huh? <laughs> right, Uncle Nat? Oh, no, not again! Hee <laughs> hee